Good morning everyone. It's uh, quarter past eight, Sunday the 4th of June. Uh, happy birthday Alice Warwick. Um, welcome to Rob and Susie's allotment adventure part six. Um, we've got the allotment to ourselves again. It's a bit early. Already done one tip run. But that was for a home project. Um, we'll give you a little bit of a look around here. It's a bit of rubbish to get rid of today. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Here we go. And the bad news is that the wildlife pond has got put on the back burner for a bit. But I have moved all the fox gloves off one of the other beds I've prepped. They're all in containers, they need a water this morning. But they're okay, they're very resilient. Those ones that are put in properly over there, they've all survived, so they are quite hardy. Lupin's looking good. And the bane of my life is the um, It, it, it annoys me so much I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> Lemon balm, that's the stuff. Flipping everywhere. See this side, the bench has moved. Get out of the way. I've moved some of the pebbles. I've got a, a tree stump there. That's going to be part of the wildlife area. Hopefully dangle it into the pond so everything can climb up it and get out if anything falls in. Some rocks and things to make little crevices for the amphibians and whatever. We've still got some poppies and cornflowers in full bloom. daisies and something else that I don't know what and we've got a bed there that I've just taken the the top inch with a Chillington hoe or grubbing hoe whatever people want to call it just to get rid of the foliage get rid of the undergrowth and that'll be getting forked over today to make it into a proper bed and then it'll look like these. This is the bed that the sweet corn is going in. It's just, they're not put in properly, the boards. They're just there to give me a rough outline. And then I've got another one done here, ready for my brassicas. There's some cauliflower, broccoli, and purple sprouting broccoli that's ready to go. It's still a bit cold at night though, but it's uh, they will be going in. The potatoes looking good, thankfully. Starting to flower. Onions going well. And the first carrots are starting to come up. Even though there's a poppy there that looks remarkably like it. That's definitely a carrot. There are a few in there coming through. Getting some cherries are ripening. But we don't think they're going to be edible cherries. I think they're just ornate things but I'm sure the birds will eat them but I don't think we're going to be partaking the golden raspberries are starting to form now the flowers have gone main crop King Edwards starting to come they're going to get ridged up today now I can see where the plants are Try and get my ridges a bit straighter. And then some Maris Piers at this end that were given to me by one of the plot 
holders. We've got too many. Strawberries covered up because they're starting to form into little red ones. The green ones are starting to ripen so they've got netting on to keep the birds off. And the I'm finally getting down this lot, get that slate, put in a bag today, get this lot tidied up. Been using pallets, breaking those up to use for the stakes to hold the bed planks in place. And then the greenhouse is finally in. Full of plants. The old IBC there just to give me an idea of spacing I needed but there is a new one coming when I get it collected and then it's everything here is ready to go out really once I get some netting sorted got some broccoli some cauliflower plants that I got for a bargain off somebody Facebook marketplace 25 for two quid what a steal and these are the ones that I got and the in my little greenhouse that Beth gave me at home. The slugs have had a bit of a go at them, that will be okay. Some sweet corn. Bought from my local Asda. And then some French climbing beans that are gonna be used the three sister method hopefully when the sweet corn gets going. These will climb up the stalk and I think this puts some sort of a, a nutrient in the ground that helps the sweet corn. And then there'll be a, something else going on the floor, whether it's got squash or a pumpkin, something like that. We've got loads of money makers, which are going in various things. I've got some grow bags ready. We've got some peppers there. We've got some Murano peppers, I think, in there, being given, and two cucumber plants. So we're finally getting some produce ready to go in, and not just potatoes. There we go. That was today's look around. Hopefully, get some. Potatoes ridged up this morning, a few jobs at home to do, um, and get that other bed done. So hopefully a bit more progress for you, probably this time next week. Thanks for watching, cheers.